Hi, hello everyone. Today I am talking about catheter related bloodstream infection. So, this question they will ask with nosocomial infection. Define nosocomial infection and detail about catheter related bloodstream infection. They will ask like this question. So, I made about nosocomial infection. If you want that video, see in description. I gave you a link. Okay. You can see easily. So, wasting much time, let's start the video. So first we have to write boldly catheter related bloodstream infection heading okay under that we have to write definition about catheter related bloodstream infection so it defined as the presence of bactericemia organisms from IV catheter okay so this is simple definition if you want this definition you can write under that I have gave definition of about catheter related bloodstream infection you have to you should write that definition so it defined as bactericemia or fungi in patient with an intravascular catheter for more than for more than 48 hours okay if 48 hours more than 48 hours if catheter is present they will make bactericemia and fungi so for that i am will get easily infection so that is the definition of meaning so so under that for example blood positive the blood positive get got infection uh, we have to see peripheral vein obtained from peripheral vein and the clinical manifestation or infection for fever or hypotension anything and sources of bloodstream infection um, so bloodstream infection may be cath central or peripheral vein so under that we have to write for example so next point is three routes by infection which which infection can occur in catheter okay that is roots with three roots are there so that roots we have to write intraluminal extraluminal and hemotaneous so three roots we should write say then causing organisms so organisms we should write okay so for that we have to write first one coagulation staphylococcus enterococcus corneobacteria so this organism we should write so next point is prevention that means precautions of iv catheter catheter bloodstream infection so first point is caring so care of injuring device and general guidelines hand washing in universal prevention we should properly follow that and waste segregation so use for use of chlorohexadine for skin preparation so we should use that chemical so then solution used for flushing catheter should not from glucose as the supposed growth of organism microorganism peripheral iv catheter so peripheral iv catheter should be removed so okay so this precautions and prevention we should write definitely so very very important points this, this and all so we should write okay so common thing only you can write by only so risk factor finally risk factor is infection elsewhere so in bracket we should write remote uni, urinary tract infection will get urinary tract infection if infection somewhere else went means we get infections like urinary tract infection that is the exam that is the risk factor so second is iv catheterization longer than 72 hours okay then inexpensive of personally inserting the cvad so that we have to we have to write next point is use of stop cocks so this points we should write for risk factor so very very easy we can write by only so you sh you don't skip any points okay so finally we have to revise for catheter related bloodstream infection question uh, we have to write first definition roots causes organism prevention finally risk factors so this five points we should write and we should revise for exam also and please if you understood my notes please comment me uh, it's okay means this like this video i'll make or less i'll make like slide video whatever if you want like please comment me or uh, instagram also is there you can comment and personally also so finally if you like this video please please click on like share and subscribe and thank you so much